Alrighty, so we're doing our Crucible fight. This is the third match. I lost my first one. I won my second one against PC Smitty. And now we're up against Chaos. Uh, so let's check out Chaos PCP. Uh, he's sitting at 41 million, so very close to me. Uh, he seems to be uh, more happy to buy those dark promo offers because he does have a 7 red Red Hulk. Very jealous of that. I wish I had that. Rooms 1 and 3 I'm going to save for last. He doesn't have unlimited, so I do think I'll get the full clear. It's just a matter of how ugly it's going to be and uh, if he can't clear me. And my mirror broke because, of course, the second I try and start a video, it needs to break. So let's get that back up, and then we're going to get into the Omega Doom match. And we go. There we're back. And I am joined by my boys in the uh, Troopers clan. They're still kicking around here. Um, so yeah, you guys feel free to talk. Uh, I am going to go in with Fury instead of Emma because I have use for Emma potentially later. Um, and that's, yeah, because I just don't need Emma for this. Emma just dies right away anyway. The speed up from Fury accomplishes the exact same thing Emma accomplishes, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, let's just get in there. Let's do this thing. My last Crucible, I did lose to, or sorry, my first one of the week, I did lose because I couldn't kill the Red Hulk with my Omega Red. And we found out that the damage from Omega Red's basic isn't 10% of max health. It's 10% of current health, which was a huge blow. Uh, so we want to get one crit on Red Hulk here. Not yet. There we go. We got it. And then we'll go ahead. We'll just throw this at anybody. I suppose it doesn't quite matter. We did get a bunch of crits. That's very, very nice. Omega Red will shake all that off. We got everybody to yellow, so this ultimate is going to absolutely smack. Die, Perfect. Yeah. And the mirror died. Let's go ahead and stop the mirror and pull it back up. Thank you, Dead. And we're back. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the basic here. And now we will use the special. We won't make the same mistake. Kind of want to do it on the She-Hulk. I do think the 5% would kill the Red Hulk. If not, he does have ability block. This will give him trauma. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. And, oh, ooh! Suey! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know why I turned into Farmer John there. But it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Stay Wedding? And that was a, a 7 Red Star Red Hulk. So we got it done. And actually, we, we walked away with everybody clean. So maybe Fury is a better call because he is a legendary. He spawns a defense up. It's pretty elite in that regard. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I could save Uncanny for the other teams because I know that they can work, but I'm just going to use Uncanny here. It's only 100k punch up into Young Avengers Room 5, and this is just absolutely going to win. So Porky Dad now, you don't know how hard that hits. It's been used by other people. Um, uh, yeah. That, that hurts. <laughs> Scotty knows why. He'll tell you if he wants. All right, so let's get defense down on everybody because Phoenix died. Let's turn me to rewind Kate just so she doesn't pop back up. She did not get defense down, unfortunately. So we pull the defense up off of her, which is helpful. Let's alt here. Ooh, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Storm hasn't even gotten a chance to use her ultimate yet. She will here in a second. And we get the uh, defense up off of Miss Marvel that way. And ba-boom. Yeah, that's all she wrote for this Young Avengers team. Uncanny can do like 350k punch-ups on Young Avengers. It's pretty insane. Age of X is a monster. Let's continue. So that's two good wins. Let's We've done that matchup. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful matchup. Let's keep the good wins going. We're going to mirror match up Wakanda, but we are going to make a slight alteration where we're going to take out M'Baku and we're going to put on Black Panther 1 million. And I've actually heard Nakia works here as well. Uh, but I don't know if I want to go that far. Where's my 1 million? There he is. So this is still a punch across. With M'Baku, it was a uh, punch down. I'm pretty confident in this. We do get to go first. We're going to peel off buffs from the... Black Panther, and we should be able to kill him before he gets to go. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to try and do here. 
So we get that speed up off of him. We could have given defense down to everyone as well, but I actually like the idea of killing Black Panther outright. I mean, dorky, should I buy Mercury card to seven? I don't hate it. We get offense down on our Black Panther. I'm not a huge fan of that. You don't hate it? Uh, I, I'm not listening to what you're saying right now. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Why did their Black Panther go before mine? I stole his speed up and there were still other character turns. We are in big trouble now, actually. Like, big, big trouble. Like, we probably lose this now because of that. Why did his Black Panther go first? That's not how speed works. We had very bad chains as well. If Killmonger kills people, which he's very... Well, he's staying away from Shuri, at least. He's hitting into defense up targets. He definitely hit more than seven enemies there, but we seem to be okay-ish. Oh, M'Baku. M'Baku, no, don't kill Shuri. Okay, okay, okay. No, Okoye did it, though. We will kill Black Panther here. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Make sure we get the kill on him. Okoye can go. Let's do a turn meter rewind on the enemy Okoye. This is not looking good for us at all with Shuri being down. Oh, no. oh man, we're going to lose this. Damn. 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 This sucks. How did this happen? Why did it... It instantly went into autoplay for some reason. Damn. My efficiency on this fight will be really bad if I leave it like this. Really bad. All right, we're going we're gonna to try and do what chat's talking about. I think if I do win this Crucible, it's going to be because the opponent can't clear me anyway. So we can do a little bit of testing. Last time I said that, I lost because of that, though. We'll see how this goes. We're going full War Dogs against the Wakanda team. And I'm being told Okoye. Could disrupt Panther so he doesn't get buffs. Doing that last time didn't stop their Black Panther from going first. So I don't really want to mess with that. Messing with Okoye sounds fun. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm actually going to do defense down into her. And if we get enough pings on her, we might just straight up take her out. Yeah, we just straight up take her out there. So I was just playing stupid, I guess. Is what it looks like. It looks like this matchup is completely easy and I was making it hard on myself. Unfortunate. Yeah. Yep, good old Dorky doesn't know what he's doing. Thinks he, uh, in his head, played it out one way and just completely played out the other. All right, so War Dogs absolutely smashes Wakanda if you just take it, Okoye. Noted. Hard lesson learned. That was a good lesson to learn for everybody else. Crucible. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we definitely learned an important lesson there. Yeah, always listen to chat. 20% of the time. <laughs> exactly what Steven <laughs> said. 20% of the time. They're always right. Uh, we're going to Infinity Watch this this dad bro team. Oh, I could save Infinity Watch in case I need them on a cleanup. Let's do that. Let's save Infinity Watch in case we need them on a cleanup. I'm going to grab my Darkhold team here. We're going full dark hold into Tangled Web Astonishing Team. Again, I feel like if I did a burner attack here, I could just walk over it because then I don't have to deal with the defense down that 299 puts out right away. But I've heard from many people that I trust that Dark Hold just walks over this team with no burn attack. And every time I've said I've heard it from people I trust, I end up losing. But let's do it. What anyway. does chat think? Yeah, chat, what do you guys think? Uh, wait, yes. Let's go Strange, Scarlet. I get the... There you go. I've used Dormhold consistently, says Goose. We're doing it. We're doing like it. The bomb. It's on the bomb. He, uh, he doesn't play around with his words. Oh, straight yeah. to the point. No, 
All right, so there's the defense down. Not a huge fan of that. Uh, oh, because they took turns, I actually get to go first. This is interesting. This at least has like a turn meter rewind. And I don't have to wait to use it. Oh my god. She almost got just obliterated. I do get to do extra moves on on Tangle oh. on Weaver before she gets to do anything. This is crazy. Let's let's just balance out. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the ultimate on Weaver. So that uh, the stun has to go into Wow. Wow. Noir on this team really messes things up. If you had Beast, there wouldn't be the extra turns popping off. And then I don't think Morgan goes before Weaver. But because she of... also gets 10% from him existing. Yeah, because he's yeah, I think Noir makes this more difficult. Oddly enough. I'll take it. I'll take it every single time. Not only is it a one shot, but it's a very quick one shot. Let's go ahead and chat kill these didn't people. Didn't lie to you again. Chat two is for two, chat. two Good for job. two. Yeah. Ignore them for the next month. No, let's not inflate their <laughs> egos, though. Let's take our Jubilee. Kills himself, and then there you go. Wow. Wow. Now, if only I didn't lose to that silly Wakanda team, we'd be in a super good position to just immediately win. Because we got one burner team, no problem. We have a very easy Underworld versus Infinity Watch matchup. But because I lost the one Wakanda team, yikes, yikes, we could regret that. We have no Mystics, so Magneto goes first. Then we get to do a bunch of Bleeds and Iron Man. He's actually going to get to Ultimate somebody. Might have some lasting damage, but probably not much. It's probably not worth it. It's probably not worth overthinking it. Let's just get in there. We're burning it. The most important thing is to land the blinds and survive till Morgan, uh, her thing with the, the rewind and all the nastiness. All right, please land. The blinds landed on everybody except Agatha, so we'll take that. We actually have a defense down now on Morgan. If I can actually do some damage to this Morgan, that'd be pretty clutch. Uh, except, except we're getting wrecked. Except we're getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Hello there. And that's Mobile Gamer rating with a party of three hundred and five. Welcome, guys. You're coming in just in time. Uh, might as well special. Why not? I guess ultimate. It doesn't matter. We we got to the Morgan special. That's all we really cared about. Wait, did we? There we did. Woo! Thanks for voting Mobile Gamers Crucible match. Uh oh, what happened? Just so you guys know, there's a worse team around the corner. Apparently, apparently. All right, so now let's get in there with our cleanup. Uh, I do think Eternals are fine here. And then we have, let's put Zombie Iron Man up there. Let's grab Hela. And let's grab Dormammu. Do I want the Eternals, though? They just do turn meter rewinds. Is that actually helpful? Because Dark Bolt kills themselves. I could do, like, a Kestrel. I could do, like, Kestrel Captain Sam, so Greg's actually get turns and stuff. He's been darkied. Sorry, Mobile. Love you. I could do like Lady Deathstrike Kestrel. I almost feel like that would be better than the Eternals. Regardless, uh, Zombie Iron Man is coming along for the ride for sure. I have bots out there. We'll make a few CC specific teams, also scope leave four specific CC teams in about three seasons. Yeah, that's true. What do you guys in the troopers chat think? I think if you're bringing LDS, you might as well bring Eternals because they do what she does, but better. Well, LDS does the bleeds to feed in with the, uh, the Undying. 
My Zim is is a free to play status. Three yellow, one red. Gear tier sixteen. I guess Eternals are better if you need to hit it a third time. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> I don't think it would be. Yeah, I don't I'm going think it in. would be either. I'm going in. Let's go. Yeah, I think it should be all right. All right. So we start with the turn meter rewind. Let's do another one. Then we definitely would just want to start getting bleeds on Morgan ASAP. Let's get trauma on her. Trauma's done. Cool. So she stops doing her stuff. We can spread this slow. I don't have any bleeds to spread yet, unfortunately. I think I'm going to let Strange use his ultimate now. He's going to have offense up no matter what, but I'm not always going to have defense up. I think that's reasonable. What do I stop Scarlet Witch from doing her thing? Nah, we might be able to stop. If we do enough damage to Strange that he's getting pinged on, then we might be able to get him dead before he even gets to do anything. We'll see. He doesn't have trauma, so I don't know why I'm pushing him to stealth to drop that. Let's get a stun on Agatha. If we get the stun on Agatha, nah, I resist him. Color me surprised. Uh, there goes Hella's first life. That's not a good start. Does this kill Strange? We get enough bleeds out there. The ability block is still on Strange. Uh, I don't think we have bleeds on her yet. Let's get some bleeds on Morgan. Even though she's... Uh, nothing's landing on her. She has trauma. We can. I think we might be able just to kill her, since the stealth isn't going to do anything here. She's, she's got defense down over here. We're just dropping everyone in the stealth for fun, I guess. Okay, Morgan's gone, so no turn meter rewinds coming for this team, regardless. Now, Strange is dead. This is just an easy one at this point. There's zero reason to talk this through now. Dexter, following. Welcome to the Dorky Den, my friend. Shield medic staring into your soul. Yeah, she's saying, give me your gold. Mostly three, also following. Welcome to the Dorky Den, buddy. Good to have everybody here. All right, Scarlet Witch is now gone. He's into stealth, so we can go finish up Agatha. She'll bleed out, but we might as well finish her off. Not good efficiency, but we get it done. I don't know if the one shot would have been worth risking. Hella died pretty quickly there without it. Yeah, I think it was better to play it safe. A two shot's way better than a three shot. Yeah. yeah. The only thing now is conceivably he could... If he clears me, he could keep it to two losses. He could try and one-shot my Tangled Web with Infinity Watch. That'd be pretty dangerous, though. Hey, what up, Prince? And happy holidays, everybody. That is a good call. This is a good shout-out. All right, we're going for Infinity Watch here, and we will finish up this Crucible strong with a very quick win, even though it's Dad Bros. Should be fine. Get some counters up. No Red Skull here definitely helps. I don't think that Zemo crit once, so that sucks for him. But it's really good for me. Uh, but there you go. The the called-in attack from uh, Kingpin definitely wrecked, wrecked my Nebula. Nebula's now actually dead, dead. Not a fan of that. Let's go for uh, the Disrupt over here on Zemo. Let's cleanse this stuff. Zemo's dead. Perfect. Let's turn me to rewind. Yeah, we'll turn me to rewind uh, Shatterstar here. Yeah, Nebula getting hard focused out there sucked, but I guess it happens. We'll take you out. Now we'll take you out. We'll stun, and then we get the finish. 
Would I consider being in a thruple? No. Never. Well, now my heart's broken. No, I'd leave her for you, Scotty. <laughs> uh, okay, so I did one burn attack here, and then I lost the match here because I was foolish and didn't play it out the way chat wanted me to at first. But otherwise, clean. All right, guys, well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.